How old is too old to drive a school bus? Well, that's an open question in Massachusetts in the wake of an accident involving a kid on a bicycle just yesterday. Right now, police say the driver is not at fault, though he is 84 years old, and that's raising some eyebrows. NBC 10 Sierra Putman has more. Sierra, is there an age limit? Well, the short answer is no, but I did learn the older school bus drivers are monitored more frequently to make sure they're okay to stay on the road. Chances are you've either ridden or nor a child who's ridden a school bus. After mounting the stairs, that child's life is in the hands of the man or woman behind the wheel. While a driver must be 21 or older, after that, there's no age cap. That's in most states, including Rhode Island and Massachusetts. No matter the age, they can do a lot more than a 40-year-old man can do, so you'd be surprised. There is a point where you're too old to drive a school bus. Absolutely. Many were surprised to learn the bus driver involved in Wednesday's Northbridge accident is 84 years old. NBC 10 uncovered this story from Missouri. Carl Fisher holds the world record for longest career as a school bus driver. He retired at age 82 after spending 66 years behind the wheel. Other than a funeral, I've never missed a day. I reached out to a first student, the company who provides school buses to many school districts. It didn't reveal the age of its oldest driver, citing privacy laws. But an employee who wants to remain unnamed tells me there's a local driver who's 81 years old. The Cranston School District says its oldest bus driver is 71. 71, huh? Good for him. Pilot and air traffic controllers have mandatory retirement ages at 65 and 56, and they're not the only ones. Even the Vatican requires priests to retire by age 75. They might not have a mandatory retirement age, but older bus drivers are monitored more frequently. At 65, they have to pass a physical exam twice a year. Once they hit 70, they have to retake the driver's test each year. And there are federal anti-age discrimination laws, and that might explain why there is not a mandatory retirement age for school bus drivers. Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.